So we do two main branches of photography here. We do black and white photography and we also do digital photography. Black and white photography is uh, more of an, an old school art um, and it's not really done in, in many colleges anymore, especially not as a, a portfolio course. It, it's been phased out over the years. Students seem to achieve pretty high quality uh, portfolios uh, compared to other one year long courses. The prize at the end is that the, the sense of achievement and it's actually there physically to remind them they've got this portfolio of amazing stuff showing off all the skills that they learned. I teach uh, media analysis, communications and work experience and then I have the separate role as I'm a gu guidance counsellor to the students as well. We analyse magazines and films to figure out why things happen. So basically the reason we do that is so you as a student would need to know how you make mistakes in order to not make them again and you would also need to know why things go well so that you can make them go well again. Things like um, semiotics which is basically the study of signs and symbols and it's like it's all connected to the other modules from graphic design to photography to sound engineering and it's kind of the more psychology of media is covered in that class. Then we also do communications and we learn things like verbal and non-verbal communications. The students uh, gain skills in interview preparation and also their college interviews, how to put their portfolios together. So we start off teaching about microphones and how they work. Then we move on to using a sound desk and then we also start using the computer. So start transferring it with the software as well. We do sound for about 13 or 14 weeks, three days a week, so I try and cram in as much as we can, but there's probably a class or two that we talk about the environment that you're recording sound in. So the main uh, thing that we use, it's industry standard, which is Pro Tools. The students usually do two studio recordings, so one of them is a radio show and the second one is recording a band. We cover live sound as well within that, uh, which is a great experience because they're actually in a you know, professional environment, doing real sound for a real band in a real venue. Graphic design is visual communication. Um, it's problem solving and it's found everywhere around us. It's such a broad subject area um, and there's so many different ways that you can express your design. Like um, photography um, and bringing that in, the image that works with lettering, typography. Uh, composition, um, how that all works together in a piece. We focus on is bringing out the best in you and your own style and it's all about finding that. You come out with a massive skill set, nearly ready to walk into industry. You'll be able to design a poster if someone asks you to do it. You'll be able to design a logo for a business. Fantastic opportunity. Not only that, but you'd have a new hobby. It's, it's something, it's like a book. Once you start um, you start seeing it everywhere and you, you can't get away from it. So it'll just open up so many doors, so many opportunities. They'll go from the very basics of learning how to operate a camera, how to construct a story using pictures, to the technical aspects of taking the footage into the computer and editing it using Final Cut Pro. The purpose of editing is to tell a story. That's what everything you do in, in whether it's movie making or documentary making or making a news report, you're telling a story to somebody and you're telling a story using pictures and sound. To understand where it goes, you have to understand about the idea of, of seamless cutting, you know, the idea that you can cut from a wide shot to a close-up and the audience will accept that. 